so good morning good evening good afternoon friends my name is amit and welcome to to it certifications guru channel i would like to start with 10 most important sql interview questions for fresher in this video which are very very important for the freshers so kindly do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so let's get started let's start with question number one what is sql this is most important hundred percent asked interview question uh, for the freshers so sql is a structured query language it is structured query language which is programming language used to manage and manipulate the relational databases most of the times guys give the answer very wrong like they are saying like sql is a sequential query language or system query language no it is structured query language which is a programming language used to manage and manipulate relational databases it is not database management system or uh, just like oracle okay it is a language used for database management system got it we'll go for next question what is what are the different types of sql statements this is also commonly asked uh, interview question for the freshers so first is a select statement which which retrieves the data from the database second is insert statement insert the new data into database third is update statement which modifies the existing data from the database delete removes the data from the database create creates a new database table view or other objects alter which modifies the structure of a database and drop which deletes the database table view or any object select insert update delete create alter drop these are different types of sql statements used in sql third question is explain the difference between sql and mysql there might be some tricky questions as well like explain the difference between sql and oracle or explain difference between sql and ms sql 2007 or 2011 or 2017 something like that okay so sql is language in first question also we have discussed about the same sql is language used to manage relational databases while mysql is specific relational database management system rdbms that uses the sql as a language okay you can just remove mysql and put oracle oracle is also specific relational database management system that uses the sql as its language okay SQL is a language and other are database management system. You can remember this. We'll move towards the next question. How do you handle duplicate records in the SQL query? So this is also most important question. So to uh, remember this, the, these two keywords to handle duplicate records in the SQL query. One is distinct, which is used to retrieve the unique values. Other is group by clause, which consolidate and perform the calculations on duplicate records. Okay. So, if there is need to perform some calculations on the duplicate records, then you can use the group by clause. Okay. Uh, I would like to give you an example of group by clause where you require to calculate the average marks for 10 standard people in the school. So, you can use the group by over there. And distinct is if you require the distinct records. Uh, for a student named Amit, then you can use the distinct keyword over there. Okay. Next is subquery in the SQL. What is subquery in the SQL? This is also commonly asked question. A subquery is query embedded within another query. It allows you to use the result of one query as a condition or value in another query. Okay. So I would like to give you one example select star from employees where employee number in select employee number from department 
department this is the sub query you can use in any these kind of clauses to uh, write sub query so we will discuss about the sub query in detail in next uh, videos but this is just a simple question so i have given the uh, simple descriptive answer for this question explain the concept of indexing in the database indexing is the technique used to improve the performance of the database query by creating data structure that is called as index that allows for faster data retrieval so if any question from index came then you can answer like it is a data structure that allows a faster data retrieval okay it stores a sorted copy for data based on one or more columns enabling efficient searching okay so you can use that it is a data structure for faster data retrieval okay next question is what is difference between primary key and foreign key so primary key is a column or set of columns that uniquely identifies each row in the table while foreign key establishes the relationship between the tables by referring to the primary key of another table so when there is a reference it is foreign key so it is nothing but the relationship between the table which is referring to the primary key and primary key is the column or set of columns which uniquely identifies each rows in the table got it next question what is normalization in database design normalization is the process of organizing the data in the database to reduce the redundancy and dependency issue normalization is the process okay which process of organizing the data in the database so your data is not organized in normalized manner then it's really difficult to fire some queries it's really difficult to prepare a data model so you require to organize the data in specified manner which reduces the redundancy of the data or dependency issues as well okay so you can remember the organizing the data in the database this keyword it involves breaking down the large table into smaller table related tables or establish the relationship between the tables using primary key and foreign keys okay you can add some primary keys you can add some foreign keys to uh, to be that database in the normalized forms okay this is called as normalization in database design so this is also most important uh, question which has been asked for pressures explain the difference between where and having clause in sql so this is also important question uh, and this is confusing question to the students or the associates who are giving the interview so the where clause is used to filter the row based on the condition in the query while having clause is used to filter the row based on the condition in group by statement okay where clause condition in the query having clause condition in group by statement when there is a group by statement you can use the having clause you can't use the where clause over there because it groups the records for the table and where clause you can use it in simple standard query just like select star from employees where employee number is equal to xxx it will retrieve the data for employee number xxx okay we'll move towards the next question what is rdbms rdbms stands for relational database management system relational database management system is based of is is the basis for sql for all modern database management system like ms sql server IBM DB2, Oracle, MySQL, Microsoft Access, we are using relational database management system. It is a database management system that is based on relational model who has been introduced by EF Core. Relational model? Who has introduced the relational model? It's EF Core. This is also one of the interview questions uh, that might be asked in the pressures interview. 
i hope you like this video and these questions will helpful to you guys if you think that these questions to helpful to you you can just subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get to know more interview questions like this in upcoming videos thanks again for uh, seeing this video till last till the end and you can also uh, get the ppt for this video uh, by commenting your email address in this video uh, so that i can provide you that ppt on your mail address also you can see uh, multiple interview questions like this on www.complexsql.com i would like to share that link as well in the description section you can see that uh, link so that you will get to know more uh, you you will get more interview questions like this which is helpful for you to give the interviews for sql as a pressure okay so thanks team thanks again